Hello everyone, this is Amit. Welcome to another video about Notepad++ tips and tricks. Today we are going to look into top six uh, lighter themes in Notepad++. All of these themes that I have chosen today comes installed with Notepad++. And so you don't need to install an edit additional theme. And I'm also going to give you a preview of uh, these themes in different kind of files such as HTML, CSS, PHP, Python, JavaScript, and so on. Now, a little bit of disclaimer right at the beginning of this video. Some of the themes that I have picked today also has uh, like a, you know, a bluish or a little bit of brownish or pinkish theme. Uh, so please bear with me. So let's get started. So the very first and in my top list is a default theme. Now Notepad++ come with a, a default theme. Uh, if you go to settings, style configurator, and if you pick the very first, uh, it's a default theme. And actually that is the default. And if you're happy with this theme, actually this is by far uh, the best theme actually in, in a lighter background in Notepad++. So this is how it looks in C, JavaScript, CSS, PHP, uh, and the Python and HTML. Now you might have already seen all these uh, because it is a default setting. If you would like to go to the next kind of themes, I have also included timestamp in this video. So if you are looking for a particular theme, uh, you can use that in the description in the video. But let's go to the next one. The next one is a solarized light theme. So how do I change that? So we'll go to settings and style configurator. And on your top left, there is a drop down to select themes, right? So I'm going to pick that and go all the way down to solarize light and click save. And so this is how the solarized light theme looks like. In Notepad++, uh, this is just a plain text file, and I'll start with HTML. So this is how it looks. It is a nice green and uh, maybe a little bit of yellowish, a very faint yellowish uh, background to it. Uh, but uh, it is a pretty popular theme actually. There are a lot of uh, text editors that have solarized themes, so it's a it's a common theme. Uh, but this is how it looks in HTML. This is the Python script. If I would like to select a particular code block, uh, it gives this nice dark green background, which, uh, which looks really good when you are doing a text selection. Uh, so this is your Python, and this is the PHP uh, with a nice common section, little grayish color. Uh, CSS is something like this and JavaScript and the C. So that's how the solarized light theme looks like. Uh, the next in the list is a khaki list. And again, it's just the name implies it is actually a little bit of khaki color. So let's go to settings and style configurator. And there is right here khaki. And again, it has a a uh, little more khaki color uh, to it. Uh, this is how the text looks like. This is my C file. Uh, it looks pretty good. It it, it is a brighter. It because of the background, the, the 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 text really pops out in the screen. So nice, nice crisp colors. And this is a JavaScript with the blue. Uh, actually, I I really like this one. Yep. So this is JavaScript. This is a CSS, nice crisp, uh, crisp colors and text. Uh, PHP. And uh, yep, let's do a quick selection just to see how it looks. So it is a little light green uh, selection color. So that's, that's pretty neat. Um, and this is Python. And this is our HTML. All right, so that was a khaki. The next one is a Hello Kitty theme. And let's go to change that. Hello Kitty. 
so there you go uh, that's a nice pink background and if it if pink is your color then by all, all means this is a pretty good theme and the reason why they have included is because people are liking those this particular theme and so this is a plain text file looks like this is a c1 if i want to select it it looks say like a little white uh, uh selection color this is javascript uh, in fact, this is interesting because it's not completely supporting all kind of files. So you may come across these kind of things where you, uh, especially if you install a new theme, it may not have a support for all kind of, uh, you know, language files or file extension. So it seems like JavaScript is not able to completely, you know, parse the background properly. Let's go to CSS. So yeah, CSS looks looks good. And this is PHP again, similar thing with PHP. Uh, there's some background is not being handled properly. And this is a Python. And this is HTML. Now, if you are not working with a particular kind of file uh, which has some issues with this theme, yeah, then you can still continue to use uh, this theme. But uh, it doesn't seem to have support for every one of the the file extension. All right, so that was a pink theme, which is a Hello Kitty. The next one is a Navajo or Navajo. I'm not sure how to pronounce it, but let's go to settings, style configurator, and Navajo. And this, as I said earlier in this video, it is a little brown-ish color. Um, and this is how it looks like. Uh, I like the color gray and brown. This this uh, combination looks pretty neat. And then there is a C, and the selection is something like this. This is your JavaScript, uh, CSS, and PHP, and a Python script here, and this is HTML. And before we start the last one, which is a mossy lawn theme, uh, if you guys are interested in a darker theme, I have another video that I have uh, included. If you would like to see that, there is a playlist about Notepad++ uh, in my channel, so you can take a look at that. But let's go to the last one, which is a mossy lawn. So go to settings, style configurator, and mossy lawn. And it looks like a lawn, right? Uh, very greenish color. This is your text file. Then this is a C. I'm going to do a selection. And it has a little bit of brown selection color. And JavaScript, CSS, uh, PHP, and Python script. Um, and finally, the HTML. So it's it's okay this one is not that good but these are the the good part about all these are it already comes installed so you don't need to do a special installation which may uh, have few steps to do that so here are our, our all six lighter themes uh, i personally like the default theme which is uh, good enough for me uh, so i'm going to change back to default but yep these are the top six or uh, lighter theme that already comes installed in Notepad++. There are a lot more darker themes actually in Notepad++ and uh, if you are interested, please watch that video. I'm going to put that link in my description, so please take a look at that. But if you guys made it to this far, uh, I hope you guys learned something new. Or uh, So if you like this video, please like or subscribe to my channel. And if you would like to see a particular kind of video in Notepad++, please comment in my comment section. All right. Thank you very much.